your creature or your ship or whatever sprite you created now should move forward when you press W. And what I want to do now is do different costume when it's moving forward versus when it's not moving forward. So instead of just using the if block, I'm going to switch it to an if else. Same thing, if the W key is pressed, you're going to move three steps. Let me get rid of that. But we're going to go up to the looks and switch costume two. So we'll go, and I'll duplicate that. So I'll put one costume there. So the first costume, if W is pressed, it's going to initiate, it's going to run this block of code that I'm dragging. So if W is pressed, it's going to switch costumes to ship thrust, which is the one for forward motion. Else, the else block, uh, when that that is executed whenever this is false, when W is not pressed, we're going to switch to regular ship. And then we get to drop that down there and put it into the forever block. So now when I push forward, you should see whatever your second costume is should uh, show up when W is pressed. And when you release W, it should switch back to the original costume. That's only moving straight. Uh, we are going to work on turning right. So I'm going to use the D key. W, A, S, D are the normal keys. Uh, W is forward, S is backwards, A is left, D is right. We're going to go with the D key to turn right. A nice way to do this, I could duplicate this block right here. But when I turn right, I don't want to change the costume. And so what we'll do is just a regular if statement. Um, I could duplicate this and drop it in there. But now I want the D key, so right there, when D is pressed, now I want to rotate to the right. So that's under motion, turn, and this first one is to the right. And I don't want to do 15 degrees, that's going to be really sudden, but we might as well just try it out and see how it looks. And so I want to do that afterwards. There we go. All right, so as you can see, that spins super fast. It's a little fast for my taste in the spin. Uh, we'll try maybe just five and see how that looks. I think that's a bit more reasonable right there. Okay, uh, it's like my reset button doesn't work. That's fine. It should reset when you hit the green flag. Later on, your reset button does need to work, but it doesn't have to work at the very beginning while you're just starting. So we got the W key going forward, the D key going right. You have to turn left and to go backwards. And how do you do that? The blocks are going to be really similar to this. So you can duplicate this. And I think you can figure out, well, when the A key is pressed. So there's a few ways to do it. I think probably the easiest, you can make this number negative, or you could turn the opposite direction. It's up to you which one you do. They're both totally okay. And that'll turn the other direction. And then you have to put some uh, another block in for backwards, which is S. And of course, S is going to move. And again, a good way to think about this going backwards is move negative steps will be the opposite of going forward. And that should take care of the movement.